So everything that has ever happened in any Star Wars video game, comic book, novel, graphic novel, officially never happened. Or at least, at the very least, may or may not have happened. <laughs> What's happening guys, Grizzno here, and today I really want to talk about something that is very dear to my heart and totally not related to Battlefield 4 at all, but I do have some gameplay that I really don't have any other use for other than a random commentary and here it is it's a flawless rush defense on Lan Kang Dam where I start off using the AK971 melt some faces with that and the G18 for a bit before I pick up some guys MK mod 11 and continue to poop on the enemy team with that for a bit <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the video but here we go so like I said, I want to talk about something that is very dear to me, mostly because it was a huge part of my childhood, and that is Star Wars and its amazing, rich storyline and what is now being called the Expanded Universe, quote unquote. This was all sparked by a post on StarWars.com that announced that Disney is going to basically discount everything that's ever been made under the Star Wars name aside from the films and the Star Wars The Clone Wars animated series which was created by Disney obviously <laughs> and that means that anything depicted in the post return era uh, sorry post return of the Jedi era which a lot of book series did um, will not necessarily be depicted in the upcoming episodes 7 through 9 now I know how I feel about this initially, and that is kind of saddened, but there are two sides to this coin. Disney wants us to know that while the stories that were told previously in the games, comics, and books may not have any connection or relevance to the storyline going forward, they are doing their very best to keep any and all stories already told in this expanded universe and to connect them as they move forward with the story. So they are trying to use as many elements of this expanded universe as possible, and that at least shows that they care about the series and its fans enough to not totally insult them. But they do have to maintain some element of surprise for people, you know, as they experience the new films. I understand that, and I'm not upset, and you shouldn't be either. That is, assuming you're as b a big a Star Wars fan as I am, which you may or may not be, but man, I must have watched the original trilogy 60 plus times over the course of my life, and I'm not exaggerating in the slightest. I used to live in a house with five other guys, and they would always make fun of me because every time a Star Wars movie was came on Spike TV, I was I was watching it. You gotta be kidding me, Grizzno! You're watching Star Wars on Spike again? Didn't you watch that last weekend? And they'd be like, "Yeah, but that was the prequels. This is the original trilogy." It never matters how many times I've seen any particular Star Wars film, I always enjoy watching it just as much as I did the very first time. And as far as the expanded universe goes, I've had a lot of exposure to it, so it's kind of familiar to me. I've read many Star Wars books and pretty much played all of the video games, I'm sure of it. Uh, never really was a comic book guy though. And I guess it is kind of discerning to know that Dash Rendar may have never existed now, a, or that the apprentice or star killer was never a martyr for the rebel alliance so where did they get their f symbol from then disney huh huh wikipedia says that the canonical ending is star killer attacking the emperor uh master coda stopping him from killing the emperor star killer dies while coda and the senators escape because coda's an asshole and the Emperor and Vader live. But Starkiller becomes a martyr for the Rebel Alliance and they use his family crest as their symbol. This is all from Star Wars The Force Unleashed if you didn't already know that. Um, I want that to stay if it can, like it, it's just too perfect to me. But they might actually keep that, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, the new animated series Star Wars Rebels is set to premiere in the fall of this year and the series is supposed to take place between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. So even if they don't keep all the elements of the expanded universe that's been created so far, uh, they are at least going to provide us with some exciting new information on what exactly went on in that time period and how it's going to affect the new films. Which is pretty cool and I guess I'm on board with that. 
the Clone Wars series was really entertaining and very well done, so I have complete confidence in the new direction that Star Wars is heading, and I'm really excited about it. It still bums me out a bit to know that games like Shadows of the Empire, Knights of the Old Republic, and Force Unleashed could possibly be labeled as expanded universe content only, and they won't have any bearing on the new story arc of the films. But just the fact that Dis Disney is trying its very best to breathe new life into the franchise that I love so, so much, and uh, bring it back to the big screen and television in a really big way, uh, makes me excited to see what the future holds for Luke, Han, Leia, Chewie, and all the rest of the crew. I don't want to be part of the rumor mill, but I was told by a friend of mine that Harrison Ford is set to play a huge role in Episode 7, and that makes me all giddy like a little schoolgirl, I'll tell you that much. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of a departure from my normal content, but this news really struck me, and I felt like sharing it with you guys, sharing my thoughts. Uh, if you enjoyed listening to me talk about random stuff, let me know down in the comments if Maybe you'd like to see more commentaries like this. And uh, if you want to hear my thoughts on something in particular, let me know what it is and I'll do some research. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm hoping to have another video for you this weekend, so watch out for that, because I think you guys will really enjoy it. My name is Grizzno, and until the next time, may the Force be with you.